Well, many experts in the cider making business say that the beverage is not as well understood as beer or wine out there. So a local cider connoisseur and business owner has found herself in a unique situation with an opportunity to put cider and more specifically Idaho cider on the map. Hector Mendoza here to tell us more. Hector. Well, Molly Ledbetter is the owner of Meriwether Cider Company, and she has earned a historic achievement and is dedicated to educating people on the nuanced beverage of cider. So I think before we start any of this conversation off, I do not know how to pronounce <laughs> your title, which really I know how to pronounce sommelier, but I don't yes. know if it's similar. So Yes, it's exactly, it's sommelier with a P, so pommelier. So palm fruits are um, apples, pears, and quince. So that's, that's where the palm part comes from. A title held by those with a deep understanding of the complexities of cider. It is the highest rank that the American Cider Association has. A coveted recognition that not many have. There are actually currently only 97 worldwide. Um, and I am one of them now, which is very exciting. So you're getting a lot of those black currant notes, lots of berry notes. Molly Ledbetter, the owner of Meriwether Cider Company, is also the first and only pommelier in the Gem State. It's an accomplishment for me, but I feel like it's also an accomplishment for Idaho cider in general. Getting the title of pommelier is no easy task. I have an entire library of cider books. My husband had to like create an entire shelf for me, <laughs> my cider book. I wrote probably a stack of um, flashcards are like this tall. Flashcards and books to prep for a rigorous two-part test. It's a three-hour exam of short answer, um, essay, all writing. I had never, I had not written that much probably since college. My hand was dying. The second part is a sensory analysis, so that is um, tasting three different ciders. Like you can see your finger behind it really easily. Ledbetter had a unique approach to get her nose ready for the sensory portion. They suggest that you go to the grocery store and like smell fruit, which is like super weird, but you know, <laughs> do what you gotta do. Your olfactory is really, really um, attuned. It, it's very connected to memory. A memory that must also include knowledge of the more than 2,300 different types of apples. You need to know how um, bas the basics of orcharding, like when do trees go into dormancy? When are different apples available? Um, and then you move into milling and pressing techniques of how to get your apples into juice. All before it makes it to a glass. So that's actually a fairly light intensity. So the saying goes, the best thing to do with the best apples is eat them. It's part of its characteristics. But in this case, you drink them. I want Idaho cider to be taken um, seriously on the national stage. Um, and this is one way that I can represent and um, bring more education, more cider education to Idaho. So yeah, she says she is honored yes. to have that. And I learned a lot, actually. I think there's one we tidbit. We learned a lot from your story. There's one tidbit I've been telling everyone in the newsroom that I thought was just fascinating, just sort of tidbit of information was, if you plant an apple seed, you'll never get the same apple twice or it'll, it'll just be a different iteration of the same apple every single time and that's why there's over 2300 different types of apples that's incredible yeah and how cool that we have that right here yeah Trans right Valley. here tell us where we can go visit and taste so they have one which is the original building that they have in garden city off okay. of chinden and then they have another one in downtown boise right in front of i think it's 10 barrel yes yep. so yeah. go check it out right across yeah. the street delicious yeah been there a few times hector really interesting mm -hmm. thank you well coming up